They kiss. Balloons. Oh. 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 Swearing and cursing. Danger mouse. Scary. There he is. Do, 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 do. Scribbles. Yeah. Oh. 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 Go, 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 go. Oh. Hi, I'm Adam C, and welcome to the British Motor Show, the final day. So I am filming on my GoPro today, the stick's in the background, my camera died, I've had a nightmare, but everything else has made up for it, and I'm going to show you what that is. There's a pink Tesla. It's a four-day event. This is the Sunday. This should be the best day and the busiest day. Let's walk through the voxels with the balloons. But the most unusual sight is coming up straight away. You're not going to believe the size of this ice cream van. Yes, I mean it. It's an ice cream van and it's massive and it has an exhaust so I presume it does actually drive there we go it's massive like the jungle so that was the Skoda section and now behind me we have the Nissan section with a genuine Nismo S-Tune GT that never sold in this country with the Nismo stripes that long front bumper spoiler on the back and even the rear bumper look at that that is crazy very special to see the S-Tune here. You may know this car from Gran Turismo. That is unbelievable. One of the best cars here. And behind me now we have a pristine Ferrari Testarossa. But Scott from Rattarossa is with us today as well. And his Rattarossa is here. We'll see that in another hall. There's three halls to look at. There's Scott from Rattarossa. Who would have thought? What a bromance we have. Oh, they are enjoying life. Oh, they kissed. Sam's doing some reactions. We're on Red at our point stage. He's trying to beat the best score. Entertaining stuff. And now I've found Donald Duck made out of balloons. And there's Daffy Duck made out of balloons. And some posted notes. Oh, the lovebirds are on a bench together. I love a beanbag. These two lovebirds have joined me. They've tagged along. We found the My Energy stand and some golf clubs. We're going to whack some balls Zappy. into... Zappy the blue oh. brackets with an H. Oh! Good, Sam. <laughs> oh, that was too much. Oh, oh, oh! oh no! Oh. Another great thing at coming to these events is meeting all fans of mine. Oh, look! It's the ball carrier. It's actually a Volkswagen Transporter. Who's this happy chappy? Guys, what are we doing now? Uh, what are we, we doing? Are our way. Where are we? Where are we? Is this the stage? This is the stage. It's the stage. It's a small crowd. It'll get bigger. It's right. Uh, Let's go get on the buggies with this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, we're on the buggies. No we're in a race. It's the world's first barrow. Well, I got a helmet on. Brandon. We'll get you next time. <laughs> We're lucky, you are. We got Tim and Buzz from Car SOS on the buggy with us. We just lost a race to the world's fastest barrow, the barrel of speed. So we're, we're driving through I'm the site. I'm literally hanging out the side Help of this. Seat. Look at this. I haven't even got a seat. <laughs> would you, would you like a seat. helmet? We're heading to Hall 5 where my MG is. We're going to go buy my Cobra and my Nissan. There's dogs everywhere. There shouldn't be dogs here. Put the helmet on for God's sake. It's going to get bumpy. It's done. Uh, I was expecting a high five. So here we are. Hello, Tim. Where Hello. is your car? In here. In here, oh. mate. Testarossa, the best Testarossa in the world. That was a lie, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> Scott and I are great friends. Yeah. We have very different tastes. Okay. Because that little red car is mine, and condition-wise, they're very different. I'm probably more of a traditional classic yeah. car guy, and this is my this was my first car when yeah. I was at yours? university. This is mine. I've restored it. I had it at university as my daily car, Lovely. and now it's my showpiece. So these things are flying through the roof in the states at the moment. Yeah, they are on not the quite in this country. Not no, as well as they no, are no. in the US. What was the single most difficult part about restoring this this car? Because I know yeah, the we bit know. that I hate. We know. Right. What was yours? Do you know what? It's these, oh yeah, my god, so screen, we, we, we had a windscreen guy in. Yeah. I've never seen a grown man have such a tantrum yeah. and swearing and cursing like a child. It was horrendous. I'm so glad I didn't have to yeah. do that. Well, I'm looking looking at yours. It's not perfect, but, no, but it's not honest, it's not honestly, yeah. That, yeah. That, is as, that is as good as you'll oh, ever absolutely, get. Yeah. Because no, I'm glad you said that. It's a nightmare. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad you got to see the cars. That's, That's brilliant. brilliant. Enjoy oh, the rest of the show. Great. Thank you. So that was rather cool having Tim and Fuzz look over over my restored MGB. I've got my other two cars with me, which are outside, which are where we're heading now, because that's where most of the cars and the quirky stuff is. And then we're just going to enjoy the rest of the day. I mean, there's a Land Rover with an Airstream rear end. 
that people are climbing into. So outside we have a Max Power Vauxhall Astra Cabriolet next to a sheriff's car. And I really need to drop off this bag into my Nissan. But before I do that, I found an owl made out of metal in front of a Persia with a dog on it. What is going on here? We've got some green and orange shapes. It's just for fun. We've got a sticker showcase here. There's a rat on the spoiler. It has a spoiler on the Peugeot 407. So this whole section is what I've been most looking forward to showing you due to some of the artifacts on display. It is an owl, isn't it? Yeah, it is an owl, yeah. And what's this? Is this a turtle? A giant tortoise. Tortoise, yeah. And a doxy. Lovely. Get a like and a follow in there. Grab Pulcher. That's the one. Yes. And another car getting a lot of attention. We have a Danger Mouse mobile. I don't know if it has a proper name, but this is the car from Danger Mouse that he drove. Take a look at that <laughs> colourful interior yes. and see if you can recognise it. Yes, that is a Mazda MX-5's interior. So this would have been, at one point, a Mazda MX-5. By the looks of it, it is a Mark II. I might be wrong, could be a 2.5. The vehicle next door to Danger Mouse has six wheels and no roof but four seats and a handy boot as well. Absolutely no roof, you could not extend the roof. You could extend the exhaust though, that is a long exhaust. We're next to a lifted Mini, which is pulling a trailer that resembles a split screen camper van. That is crazy, look at the Mini. I think it's on a Suzuki chassis maybe? Yes, an LJ80 Suzuki Jeep is the chassis that they use for this lifted Mini. We have more crazy creations, the Crazy Cool Cord is the name of this one. Danger Mouse, the world's fastest shed is near the barrel of speed that we saw earlier. And then we have the Mercury Club Coupe. So I am parked with petrol hedonism just beyond this touring car section. We have the Honda, there is a Red Bull Racing One Series, I've got the Mondeo, there's a Volvo 850 over there. Another Mondeo, that is probably my favorite of the lot. We've got the pink Ford Focus. Oh no, the Renault Laguna has to be my favorite of the lot. Another Ford Focus. Let's go to the Nissan, dump the bag and have a look around some more. Oh yeah, the Cobra's here as well. This is the only show other than my own show, Adam Seafest earlier in the year, that I've had all three of my cars in a show and you will have seen from a previous video why that was. I have no space. So here is the Cobra looking pretty, quite dusty, quite a few fingerprints all over it. There is a split screen camper van called Albert with Basil Brush on the outside of it and various animals. There's a Beano comic, Planet of the Apes and this guy inside so oh there's a space hopper and a chopper we've got some board games and a scary doll in the back as well and around the side inside there is yet more memorabilia that <laughs> that is unbelievable that is a proper game of what's inside his van i suppose and just beyond this cutesy little hut a garden shed for 10 grand we have a similar section to what we just saw. Each one of these cars has their own character. You'll recognize quite a few of them, like the Tasmanian Devil. We have a John Player Special Smart Car. And further up, I just noticed an incredibly cheeky MX-5. Look at that. He's been winking at us. It's pulling a trailer as well. Look, cheeky MX-5. Is he going to wake up? There he is. We have the Nissan GTR section from R35, so more Skyline GTRs. Let's have a look at this mint example with the carbon bonnet and then the R34 GTR in yellow. And I'm around the back of this stand because I found a fishing boat. I don't think this is genuinely amphibious, but it resembles that of an amphibious car. It's got the propeller on the back, the rope, it's got the decking with a wooden pirate steering wheel and the fishing rods which have caught a shark, a baby shark, da -da 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 -da, and a boot as well. We've got the crab catchers who has caught one crab over there. There's an anchor on its bonnet as well. Oh good, the police are here too. Further up, we have an LGBTQ plus car club and they have brought along a selection of classics including a Rover 3500 with a Sinclair C5 on its roof. Next door is the Porsche Owners Club. They've got a 997 GT3 RS and the original Carrera GT, the 924 Carrera GT. Looking beautiful. The 007 for your eyes only Citroen 2CV. And as I'm sure you've noticed, there was a giant rubber duck at the back of all these Citroens. This duck is actually the birth child of Nigel Farage and Belinda Carlyle and he is here behind a 2CV which is actually a chalkboard that has been drawn all over this weekend. I mean it's mostly scribbles but there are a few 
beautiful car drawings on it as well and names and Instagram tags and most people have kept it clean. Next door we have this very well-traveled mobile with some kind of beaver on skis on its bonnet. Wombat. It's a wombat. I knew I'd be corrected. I thought as soon as I say it, it's a wombat on some skis. And after the wombat on some skis, we have some Ford GT4Ts. At the front of their section is the Ford UK Ford GT. And then we have the Corvette Club as well. And at the front of the Corvette section, we have this beautiful 59 C1, probably amongst my favorite generations of the Corvette with that stunning classic rear end and then we have a C3 Stingray road illegal race car or even pace car I like the pop-up delete on that that is a proper showpiece but for a bonus scene you are about to watch myself and Jack McNeil navigate a mini around a course in a race with Mike Brewer you and Thomas Yanomai Sam Hard so many people so much fun Take a look at this. Do you reckon I do a handbrake turn on the sausage? Yeah. He's burning that clutch. <laughs> yeah, handbrake turn for sure. F me, bro. I'm f nervous, bro. Ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready. Oh, no, they're, they're still doing sausage. That was a good handbrake turn from in the mini. Ready, oh, take it. Oh, my God. Yes! I got it. Yes! Handbrake. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that was amazing. And back again. Back again. Yeah! Oh, okay, round to the yellow. Now do 360. Prop make sure it's a 360. Handbrake here. Keep going, 360. Don't worry about him. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, down. Yeah, red cone, handbrake. Yellow cone, handbrake. Oh, watch out for the mini. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Handbrake here. They're blowing ahead. Through the cones. We're doing this. Handbrake it. Yes. Back to this one. Handbrake it. The tyres are going to die! Yellow cone! We're going to do a 360! Yeah! Amazing! Amazing! Okay, okay. Red cone. Handbrake it. Yellow cone. Handbrake it. Now, now you need to give the, this baton to him. You need to get out. Get out. Go, go, go. Go, 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 but was that not a, such an incredible day here at the British Motor Show? We've got all the personalities behind me just talking about our loss, my team lost. We love you, Adam! Love you, Adam, <laughs> Adam how, many, uh, how many events did you actually win? Um, well, zero. So it turns out I cannot throw, uh, that's partially why. I lost. We have Paul Swift behind in the Mustang. He sets world records every single day. We watched him earlier set a parallel parking with a handbrake record. He got the world record today of all days. I mean, that was incredible to witness. And as a dramatic turn of events, Chloe's joined us. And what have you got there? I've got some monster. Monster, monster. I've been uh, challenged with the task of doing a burnout. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to... I'm going to... Where if I slightly lift the back up? It's... No. <laughs> I'm going to do a lap. Whee! Ah, I'm on a mobility scooter. I can see myself on one of these. Not yet, though. I'll give me a few decades and this will be me. But from the British Moser Show, that was pretty much that. This is the only show, as I said earlier, that I've had all three cars here other than my own show. So I've lined them up as we're packing up for a shot of all three together. So I hope you enjoyed all my content from the Motor Show. We'll be back next year with Petrol Hedonism. So a big thanks to everyone involved for this weekend. Go follow me on all my social platforms for the photos I take and more and where I'll be. So I hope you enjoy that video. But for now, thanks for watching.